Alrighty, guys. So today, stay down, Noah. My kitty. Okay, jump out. There's a cat. Every good video starts out with a cat's asshole. Alright, so today, I'm gonna challenge myself because I'm not working. So today, we are gonna do a review on a certain type of beer that I've never had before. So we have in stock this right here. Look. Five liter keg. Never had this beer. It's called War Steiner. Das Enzig Wachare. I don't know if that's how you fucking say it, but. So, anyways, it says it's a premium beer. It's naturally brewed. Watch out, Nala. Goddamn cat. Making a review here, Nala. All right. So I don't know how to, I don't know how to, you're cute. I don't know how to tap this keg. So we're going to have to find out. Hopefully it goes good. I drank a Heineken keg not long ago. And um, yeah, so the challenge is today, it's five liters. It comes out to, it's like 14, 355 milliliter beers, I believe. So. Today's challenge is to drink the entire thing. And I'm gonna do some updates along the way to show you what I think about this beer. Everything else. It's got a little description here, which I'll read out. It says it's been brewing excellence since 1753. It's family owned and brewed now in the ninth generation. Our beers are crafted with passion and love for detail choosing only top quality ingredients, extra soft brewing water from the Arnsberger Forest Natural Reserve, superior quality Bavarian hops and carefully chosen German spring barley are used to brew our Warsteiner, always in accordance with the German purity law. Now I don't know much about the German purity law, but if I took a wild guess, I think it's something to do with you can only use so many ingredients, like natural ingredients, like the old school way. That's what I believe. I may be wrong. Correct me in the comments. I'm probably wrong. Now for instructions, let's see here. There's three steps, it says. One, pull out the tap. Uh, step two, in order to draw, turn the tap to the left. When beer flow diminishes, slowly turn ventilation valve. All right, so here we go. If you guys can see this. So we got this little tap here. We're gonna try to figure it out. Step one says pull. Oh, okay, I don't know if I'm pulling it too hard. Okay. Keep it off the table. I don't see. Let's see if I go. And then it says turn 90 degrees. So we got my cup here. We're gonna try turning this. I do want the camera to be able to see that though. So let's see here. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna turn. Holy, holy fucking shit. So that came out like a fucking rocket. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. So we got a glass full of foam. That's possibly, that was possibly my fault. Or it's the compression on the inside is a little bit much. That was fucked. But either way, she's gonna, we're just gonna let that settle. And, uh, we'll fucking try it out. Alright, update. She's been a couple minutes since, uh, since we poured this beer. There's still a bit of foam in there. I don't know if it's gonna get any better. Let's hope. I mean, she's got a good, good foam head on there. Whatever. 
So we are going. We're gonna start. We're gonna start the challenge, I guess. Most of my beers probably be poured about that level due to the foam. We'll see. Cheers, my friends. Let's 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 see how she did. It's fucking delicious. I mean, I love beer, so I don't know how to really say it, but it's fucking delicious. Oh, smooth. It's definitely smooth. I haven't had the beer with that flavor before. I wouldn't say it's sweet. I wouldn't say it's skunky. Hmm. It tastes almost like heaven in a, in a glass. Is the best way to say that. So it's early in the day. We're gonna we're just gonna drink my day away. We'll do constant updates. Let's go for a ride together. One down. Possibly 15, possibly 20 more. I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep track. Okay. So I kind of figured something out here. It was coming out like shit and then like super pressury and then all of a sudden the pressure just died right but there was this valve on the top like this it was it was down like that so i came up gave it a twist and it poured so much nicer so i mean that was that was nice so i think i kind of got I think I kind of got it figured out here. I mean, still has a strong head on it because half of this pour was without that valve. But once I turned that valve, it turned out pretty good. So I think this Warsteiner keg might actually work out fairly well. Cheers, my friends. It almost tastes better now too. Not that it wasn't tasting like good to begin with. It just, it almost tastes, it almost just tastes slightly better now. <sighs> One down, this is two. It's a big head, a lot of foam. Kind of hard to drink with all that foam. But hey, foamy beer, better than no beer at all. Just remember that. Warm beer, better than no beer at all. All right. So far, the start of my review, which is less of a review and more of just me getting fucked up. I would rate this beer. Well, so far, 10 out of 10. I would rate it a 10 out of 10. Let's say if you're looking to have a good time, you got a couple friends, maybe you just by yourself and you wanna get fucked up a little bit because you worked you worked a hard week. And and it's it's Tuesday. Tuesday is always a good day for drinking. If any of those situations ring a bell and sound good to you, I would recommend this beer 10 out of 10 so far. And we'll see as the the day goes on, the score might go up, it might go down. I'll keep updating. The pouring kind of pissed me off at first, but I do think that was almost entirely user-induced error. We'll see. Now that I got the valve figured out, we'll see how it pours. Flavor? Fucking great. Look of it? Sexy as fuck. Carbonation? Not bad. Not bad. I mean, it goes down so smooth. 
delicious. I mean, it is German. Following G German something something law. I forget. I forget what it was called. But it's fucking good. And like I said, I had the Heineken keg a week ago. I'll pull it out here soon. And that thing was fucking awesome. If you see yourself a little five liter pine keg, bubble keg, mini keg, do yourself a favor and pick that bitch up. Heineken wants to be picked up. Just like Warsteiner. I mean, two completely different keg reviews. I should have done a review for the Heineken. I didn't. So, I'll have to pick up another one. And we'll do another, we'll do another keg challenge. Unless I fail at this one, but it's early in the day. I don't think I'm going to fail. Had a big breakfast. So, should be ready to go. We'll see. We'll see if this gets me drunk. cheers all right so we're, we're we've we've drank two beers quite fast man poured myself a third poured phenomenally better way fucking better at first i was like i don't fucking get this now i fucking get it and it's awesome so i got my third beer here rather than making a 45 hour long video of me just drinking beers i'm going to I'm gonna be on my Twitch stream today. That's Wizard Devon on Twitch. In fact, it's Wizard. It's Wizard Devon on everything: Xbox, PlayStation, Instagram, you name it. I've coined the name Wizard Devon. That's a wizard, and that's a Devon. So I'm just gonna be drinking these beers on stream on my Twitch channel over there. Because, I mean, it's a whole keg. I probably have a couple hours of drink drinkability before, uh, before I get too fucking drunk. So, the plan is, sorry, I'm, I'm a little zoned up. The plan is, every couple of beers, three, every three beers, maybe two, I'll come by and I'll, I'll have a couple drinks, give you an update. on how the beer is going. Thank you. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, because I've got no, I've got no chance of success if you don't. <laughs> I have to drink alone. So yeah, smash, smash those fucking buttons, whatever they are, bells, likes, smash the keyboard a couple times. Grab a, grab a drink, because it's, uh, it's still going to be a fairly long video, and uh, we will go through this journey together. If you really want to watch the full-time live thing, check me out on Twitch. Wizard Devon, or uh, fucking, what is it, Twitch TV slash Wizard Devon. I'm going to play some, uh, I'm gonna play some racing games, see... See how much I can drink before uh, my driving abilities kind of go to shit. All right. Cheers, my friends. Mm. I'm going to get fucking drunk today. Woo! We going to get drunk. Let's finish her off. Mmm. Mm. All right, guys. Just poured beer number six. Man, fucking awesome. This beer is so good. Still going to give this a solid 10 out of 10. 
fucking going down great. Tastes great. The more you drink, the better it tastes. The keg feels heavy still. It's fucking awesome, guys. It's a bit foamy. But it's fucking awesome. I like it. I mean, I'm pretty sure if I keep drinking this beer, I'm going to start speaking German. Um, Prost. Prost. Mm. I'll update around beer seven or eight. Yeah. So I'm on beer 13, about this size. And this beer is fucking awesome. You can be my camera person. You hold the camera, you can be my camera person. This is holding the camera. Okay, tripod, tripod's holding the camera. <laughs> I was just moving it. So far, still 10 out of 10, recommend this thing. And as far as the keg goes, it feels super heavy still. I've had like 13 of these things. Like this size cups. Mm. And it feels heavy as fuck. Like Carla hold this. I've been drinking like all day. Full, hmm? About quarter full ish or more? Quarter full, you think? Yeah, it feels like it. There's a lot of movement in there, so. Okay. All drinking all day and fiance there thinks it's about half to quarter full. So fucking awesome we will we are gonna we are gonna finish this gag today i streamed for four hours straight on twitch twitch at wizard devon fuck yeah and i went longboarding for a little bit there and felt fantastic and now for the night time because it's uh it's 5 20 i started drinking at mid at, at 12 the opposite of midnight we're gonna finish. We're gonna finish this thing today, and I'm sure of it. It's feeling fucking great. I'm feeling drunk, but not drunk enough. All right, so I've had a shitload of beers. It's great, and I think right now we should show you how the uh, you twist, you twist, the, you twist the lid, right, like this, and it gets the fucking the shit going. Now we're gonna show you a pour, right? So this is how the Warsteiner pours. It's not bad. Yeah, you get that 45 degree angle there. Mm-hmm. This, like, this is what you can expect when you buy this keg. So we got ourselves that right there. A perfect pour. I've had like 14 cups around this size. So, I mean, it's it's doing a good job for your money's worth. This cost me $35 Canadian. That ain't fucking bad. Because a fifth... A 24... 20, <laughs> 24 pack costs you 55 bucks. 35 bucks right here in this bad boy. See this old war signer? See that war signer? That's 35 bucks right there. So for you and your friends there, that's not bad. If you got one friend and he's the lightweight drinker, it's a pretty good deal. Beautiful pour. It, it, it definitely hits a spot. I'm, I'm much drunker than when I started this whole, whole YouTube video. Much drunker. To the point where I, you know, I'm gonna finish it, but as far as health reasons and stuff, you probably shouldn't. No, no, a guy should probably never drink that much beer in a day. But we're gonna, we're gonna. It's still heavy, as far as like uh, gripping with one hand. I don't know. I personally think it's somewhere around here. Don't shake, don't shake it, advice number 101. 
We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna drink as much of this as we can, okay? Shalom, prost, slach, scully, scully, and cheers. Mm. All right, so I pretty much drank the whole thing. I think I'm on my last beer. It's been about eight hours. I basically almost fell asleep at the table. It's been good. Do. Uh, when I was pouring pouring my beer, it's like it uh I think it was empty. So far I'd give it a town ten. It's a town ten experience. Yeah. I'm hammered. It's been a struggle. A total struggle to finish off this beer. It's almost too much. I'm gonna go pour it. It's almost like it has no pressure. I lost track how many beers I had. Five beers ago. All right, I got a little bit more out of it. I had to come outside because it's just, it's intense. Started speaking German. And I don't know German. All right, so I drank the entire thing. She's empty. Still recommend this thing. 10 out of 10. Warstein. Er. Is the shit. Drink that shit. 10 out of 10. You will definitely have a good time. I recommend at least two people drink this gag.